Breaking details on a massive fire and arrest warrant just issued for the man that investigators say started it. That's right, a family devastated by this, absolutely devastated and homeless. Lucky to make it out alive, they were forced to jump from a second story window. Now first at four, Brittany Weir really with a stunning twist to this story. She's joining us live now with new developments. As you can see, there is not much left of this house here on West 106th Street after a fire destroyed it and a fire that the fire department says was set on purpose. Well, now this afternoon, major developments. Fire investigators say that they have issued an arrest warrant for a 21 year old man who they believe is responsible for setting this blaze. A family wondering what comes next after losing almost everything in a house fire on Saturday. Cleveland Fire tells 19 News when crews arrived to the home on West 106th and Clifton just after 2 a.m., the flames spread to two other houses in the neighborhood and two vehicles. The fire department issuing an arrest warrant for a 21-year-old man who they believe has a connection to the family. According to firefighters, the homeowner is the landlord for the suspect's grandmother. But who exactly that suspect is? Investigators won't say. Felipe and Cecilia Lee told 19 News that they made it out of the house with their seven month old baby boy by jumping from a second story window. I woke up by some act of God and saw flames outside our bedroom window on the second floor and screamed, Felipe, the house is on fire. He ran downstairs, tried to put it out. It went so fast. I picked up our baby. I tried to go downstairs after him and the wall of smoke was so thick. It was just like I was like walking into a black cloud. I was choking, coughing. I couldn't go downstairs. Sadly, their dog Salami did not make it out of the fire. But Cecilia told 19 News that she has been reunited with her cat Evelyn and sent us this video. Investigators estimate that there is more than $700,000 in damages and expect the house to be demolished. 99% of everything in that house is irreplaceable. Yeah. Like one of a kind from the art, the things that we've kept for decades for photos. that have been passed down generations. Neighbors have started an online fundraiser for the family. And so far it has reached over $57,000. It's like one person did something really, really evil to us, but hundreds of people have reached out and done, done something really good. The Cleveland Fire Department tells me they are still searching for the man responsible. They are offering a $2,500 reward for any information that does lead to an arrest. In Cleveland, Brittany Weir, 19 News.